G'day ice cream lovers, my name is Steve Christensen. Welcome to the uh, Scoop School YouTube channel. Hopefully you've been here before. Um, it's great to have you here. We love people subscribing, we love people commenting. We're going to ask the age old question today. Well actually we're gonna answer it as well. Before I do so though, I do wanna thank our episode sponsor which is Meadowvale. Meadowvale are a company that make ice cream mixes, frozen custard, premium ice cream, soft serve, based a little bit south of Chicago I think. Great people. People, Jason Leslie, Eddie Kahina. Um, the link is down below. Have a bit of a look. See what products that they have. And look, if you call Eddie, tell him I said hello. Eddie and I go way back, way back, about 15 years. It's not that long, but it kind of is. I get this question a lot. What is this white residue on my scoops? And it's not only on my scoops, it's on the handles, it's everywhere. Come on autofocus. There we go, look at that. That's a thumbnail in and of itself right there. What that is, is basically the blend of alloys that are used to make these scoops reacting with some sort of solvent or cleaning agent. If you put a scoop like this, and this is a Xerol type scoop, in a uh, sink full of water with any kind of solvent, with bleach, with detergent, basically what's happening is the different blends of alloys in here, and most of it is aluminium, and yeah, I said it, aluminium, basically reacting with the, uh, the agents that are in that water, and you'll start to get this kind of crystallization or oxidization happening on your scoops. Now, I, the easiest way to get rid of this, if you have them on there, um, you can use some barkeeper's friend or some non-abrasive powdered cleaner and just give them the once over. Honestly, the best thing you can do with your scoops is to not leave them sitting in water for a long period of time. Wash, rinse, sanitize, wipe them down, let them air dry somewhere. Try not to let them air dry with a pool of water inside the scoop. It's not damaging to the scoop, it is a little corrosive, uh, but in the grand scheme of things, you can clean these up quite nicely um, and they should have no problem and they'll have years and years to go. But that's what it is. It's basically the, the blend of alloys reacting with the cleaning solvents and you get some oxidization happening. It's not a good look for color customers. It looks a little motley, it looks a little old, and I just think that you can do a little bit better in your cleaning and logistical management by not having this happen to scoops. It's quite common, but uh, it shouldn't happen, in my view. Uh, and here's me hand holding a scoop with oxidization all over it. <laughs> anyway, that's what it is. White powder, easily cleaned, easily prevented. Uh, just go and do it now. Go through the drawers, get all of these scoops out, give them a good clean with either some Ajax or some Barkeeper's Friend. Make sure they're washed down and sanitized at the end of that and you should have a life of spot-free scoops. Here's a quick impression. Koala. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for tuning in on this video. I apologize to the guys at Meadowvale. They're probably looking at this going, what are we doing sponsoring these videos? Anyway, <laughs> that's all we have. Keep on scooping, folks. We'll see you in the next video.